all right so a lot of you always ask how i like sync my videos and shit i don't know why i said and shit but like anyway yeah so i'm gonna basically like teach you guys how i really sync my videos so i have a song right here already like you know marked and shit like on the beats so let me just fucking set this to comp all right so how i use time remapping and if you don't know what time remapping is i don't i'm pretty sure it's it's yeah 100 percent only on like after effects okay say if i want to just start here i won't but you know let's just say if i want to start, start here so for after effects how you want to do time remapping is how i usually do it is control alt and then t control alt t you know just like that it'll bring up the little icon right there or if you want, you can just click on the video, right click it, go to time and enable time remapping. So how you want to do this is you have your, you know, each little like bookmarked right here, like where your beats are, you know, whatever. And so you make your first keyframe and I go to the second marker and I kind of, I just line up right when the next clip begins. Right, so right there, I kind of skipped the frame, but it's fine. So you go right there, blah blah blah, and obviously you don't want to go to the next frame, the next like clip, obviously, because that's too fast. So you kind of put it up a little bit, and then like that, Just put it up even more, blah blah blah. This is a long ass clip. Oh, okay. So right here, let's actually put this into the next clip. Right there, make it into the next clip. Let's skip that marker. You know, yeah, actually, no, just go back to this. Go to the next clip. Blah, blah, blah. Go to the next clip. This is a long ass clip. Yeah, whatever. So, yeah, let's just stop it right there. That's already a lot. So, what you want to do is you want to highlight all of these and, um, you could do this, you could go to keyframe assistant and go uh, easy ease, or just the command for it, just F9. It's what I do, it's literally easier. And you wanna click this little icon right here, which is the graph editor. And if yours doesn't look like this, then wherever, like whatever it is, just right click and whatever it's selected on, put edit value graph. And yeah, you wanna change it to that and then you go to each little marker right here. So this is the first marker that we put, you know, the first video. Then it switches to that clip, right? So what you want to do is you want to get this yellow little dot right here. And you want to not line it up like perfectly up to here. But you kind of want to get it around there. So just put it all the way up. And then I'm going to say like right there is a good. You got to like, like estimate, you know, and take this one this little one right here at the top and put it all the way back and line it up with this one as well. Once again, not perfectly, you know, you don't have to do it perfectly. Just keep lining them up. Like, you know, try to give your like best at it and just do it for each individual, like yellow, like line circle, like whatever. And you just want to keep lining them up. So I'm gonna do this real quick and then I'll show you the next step. Okay, so I'm all done. You know, hopefully like I explained that good or it, didn't, it wasn't too confusing. So now what you wanna do is click the graph editor again and you can take away this by pressing E. And I think the most important part you wanna do is, actually let me just put this right here for now. The most important part you wanna do to make it look, you know, like smooth and like good like a good sync is come over here to the video and you just see this little frame blending this button right here click it twice where it looks like the arrow and then click the motion blur but then you need to uh, basically like activate them or whatever so it's like that it would also give it frame blending and motion blur to your clip which is you know nice and makes it look smooth and like you know just better all right so let's see how this looks Oh, 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 I just noticed one thing you want to do is mute the sound on the video.
because then it'll give off this weird sound if, when you use timer mapping. I don't know why, but just, yeah, just mute it. All right, so my clip is done, so let's check it out. So yeah, that's, um, you know, that looked pretty good. That's basically how you time remap. It's really not that hard. You know, I always thought it was hard, but it's really not. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this tutorial on how to sync using time remapping. If you guys do use it, you know, I mean, I'm not saying don't, I mean, you don't have to credit me, but if you use it, I'm glad I helped you. Blah, blah, blah. If you guys have any questions and more tutorials I want to do, either comment down below or hit me up on Instagram, it will be in the description. So yeah, if you guys like the video, give it a like, share it, do whatever the fuck you want, I don't really care. Yeah, that's pretty much it.